Look up. The real battlefield is right above us. It's not in the deserts or the oceans anymore. The most important fights for global power are now happening in space. It's a silent war fought with satellites instead of soldiers. And two countries are leading this charge in very different ways. The small but mighty Israel and the global giant China. This isn't science fiction. This is happening right now. Today, we are going to uncover the secret space strategies of these two nations. We will see how Israel's focus on pure precision clashes with China's dream of total coverage. The future of conflict will be decided by who controls the sky. Let's find out what that really means. Welcome to Winds of Thought. To understand this race, you first need to know why satellites are so important. Think about your daily life. You use GPS to navigate. You get live news from across the world. You see weather forecasts. Now, imagine that power, but for the military. A modern army is blind without satellites. They are the eyes, ears, and voice of a nation's defense. They are the eyes. They can see a missile being prepared in a desert, a ship moving in the ocean, or troops gathering near a border. They provide the intelligence needed to make life or death decisions. They are the ears. They provide secure communication for soldiers, pilots, and drone operators, even on the other side of the world. They are the untouchable radio network that can't be easily cut. They are the guide. They guide smart bombs to their targets, direct drones with perfect accuracy, and help naval fleets sail through treacherous waters. A missile without a satellite is just a dumb rocket. Whoever controls the space above Earth has a godlike view of everything happening below. They can see and attach coming, they can coordinate their own forces perfectly, and they can strike with unbelievable accuracy. This is the power Israel and China are fighting for. Israel is a small country surrounded by neighbors that for a long time have been hostile. It doesn't have the population of China or the vast land of Russia. It cannot afford to lose a single war. Because of this, its entire military strategy is built on being smarter, faster, and more accurate than its enemies. And its space program is no different. Israel doesn't try to fill the sky with hundreds of satellites. Instead, it builds a handful of the most advanced, most powerful, and reliable satellites in the world. It's the difference between having a thousand average soldiers and having ten elite special forces operatives. Each one is a master of their craft. The core of Israel's strategy is precision intelligence. Their satellites are famous for their incredible imaging capabilities. We are talking about cameras in space that can see with enough detail to identify the type of a truck, see the outline of a new building at a military base, or track the movement of individual people. This isn't just a picture. It's a live, high-definition stream of intelligence from space. This is vital for Israel. Their threats are close, right on their doorstep. They need to know exactly what is happening in real time. Is a group preparing to launch rockets? Are forces moving into position? Their satellites give them that warning, allowing them to activate their famous defense systems like the Iron Dome before the enemy's attack even lands. Another area where Israel leads is in miniaturization. They are experts at building smaller, lighter, and cheaper satellites that are just as powerful as bigger ones. Why is this a big deal? Because it makes them agile. If an enemy finds a way to disable one of their satellites, Israel can launch a replacement very quickly. They can also upgrade their technology faster, always staying one step ahead. In the fast-paced world of modern warfare, this agility is a huge advantage. It means their space-based eyes can never be closed for long. So remember this about Israel. They don't want to watch the whole world. They want to watch their immediate neighborhood with a microscope. Their motto in space is quality over quantity. Every satellite they have is a masterpiece of technology, designed to give them an unbeatable edge in a regional conflict. Now, let's look at China. China's approach is the complete opposite of Israel's. China is a global superpower with interests on every continent. It has a massive economy that depends on trade routes all over the world. It sees the United States as its main rival. So, its space strategy isn't about defending its borders, it's about projecting power across the entire planet. China's strategy is simple scale and coverage. They are building one of the largest satellite networks on Earth. In the last 20 years, they have launched more satellites than almost any other country. They are literally trying to create a web in space that covers every inch of the globe. Think of it like this. Israel uses a powerful sniper rifle to hit one target with perfect accuracy. China uses a massive net, hoping to cover the entire area so nothing can escape. 
This massive network serves many purposes. They have imaging satellites that may not see the same tiny details as Israel's, but they can scan enormous areas of land and ocean every day. They can watch a whole fleet of ships moving across the Pacific or monitor military exercises in another hemisphere. They see the big picture. The most important part of China's space empire is probably the Beidou navigation system. You've heard of the American GPS, right? Beidou is China's version, and it's just as good. This is a huge deal. Before Beidou, if China went to war with America, the US could simply turn off GPS for Chinese forces. Their missiles, drones, and ships would be lost. But now, with Beidou, China has its own independent system. This gives them what experts call strategic autonomy. They don't rely on anyone else. Their military can operate anywhere on Earth, completely on their own terms. China is also very open about its desire to protect its assets and challenge others. They have publicly tested anti-satellite weapons, shooting down one of their own old satellites to prove they can do it. This sends a strong message. Don't touch our satellites or we can destroy yours. They are preparing for a real fight in space. So remember this about China. They think big. They want a constant, unblinking eye over the entire planet. Their motto is, quantity has a quality all its own. They believe that by having more satellites covering more area and being completely independent, they can eventually dominate space. Let's put them side by side and see how they stack up in different areas. First, surveillance. The microscope versus the wide-angle lens. Israel's strength isn't seeing the most detail. If you need to know exactly what kind of weapon is on a specific truck in a specific parking lot, Israel satellites can tell you. Their view is incredibly sharp, but it's focused on a smaller area. It's perfect for tracking immediate close-range threats. China's strength is watching everything at once. They might not see the same level of detail on one single spot, but they can watch an entire ocean or a border thousands of miles long, 24 hours a day. They see the big picture. Next, early warning, the sprinter versus the marathon runner. Israel's early warning systems are built for speed. They are designed to spot a short-range missile launch from a nearby group and instantly alert their missile defense systems. It's a lightning-fast reaction for a localized threat. It's about survival in the first few critical minutes. China's systems are built for endurance and range. They are looking for intercontinental ballistic missiles, huge, long-range missiles that could come from the other side of the world. Their network has to be vast and always watching to track a threat over thousands of miles. Finally, communication, the secure walkie-talkie versus the global internet. Israel's communication satellites are like an ultra-secure encrypted team radio. They connect their drones, their jet fighters, and their ground commanders instantly and safely. It's a tight, efficient network where everyone is on the same page for a single focused mission. China's communication network is like their own global internet. It's designed to connect their forces all over the world, from warships in Africa to diplomats in South America. It's big, layered, and supports everything from military orders to civilian navigation. So who is winning? The answer is, it depends on the fight. If a war broke out tomorrow in the Middle East, Israel's satellite strategy would be far more effective. Their precise, real-time intelligence would give them a huge advantage. They could see every move their enemy makes and react with devastating speed and accuracy. In a local fight, the specialist almost always beats the generalist. But if there was a long, drawn-out global conflict between major powers, China's strategy would likely win out. Their massive network would be harder to completely disable. Their global coverage would allow them to project power on multiple fronts. Their independence from systems like GPS would keep them fighting even when others might be blinded. The future for both is clear. Israel will continue to make its satellites even smarter, smaller, and faster. They will use more artificial intelligence to analyze the data they collect instantly. They are refining their laser to make it even sharper. China will continue to expand. They plan to launch mega constellations of thousands of satellites. They are building space stations and planning missions to the moon. They want to be the undeniable master of near-Earth space. This is not just a competition. It is a fundamental shift in how power works on our planet. For all of human history, the high ground was a hilltop. Then it became the sky with airplanes. Now, the ultimate high ground is space. The nation that controls that high ground controls the world beneath it. They control information. They control communication. They can see every move and guide every weapon. The silent, dark expanse above us is now the most valuable territory in the world. This is no longer the future. This is today. And the race between Israel's sharp, intelligent focus and China's overwhelming global scale is what will define our tomorrow. If this glimpse into the secret world of space power made you think, please share your thoughts in the comments below. Let us know which strategy you believe is stronger. 
And if you want to stay informed about the forces shaping our world, please like this video and subscribe to Winds of Fout. Thank you for watching.